Hello everyone, welcome to another video of area based questions. In this video, we'll try to see how we can solve these area based questions without using most of the mathematics theorems and also with minimum calculations. So in these questions, what we have to do is we have to use the visuals of the question and our common sense. So let's start with the questions. So this is the first question we are taking today. This came in seed 2016. So as you can see in this question, this figure is a circle and there are six similar figures, smaller ones. So if we try to visualize this, this is looking a little bit like hexagon inside a circle, but it is not exactly a hexagon. So what we can do if we put straight lines like this, like this and like this. So it can be a triangle that is a, one of the triangles of a hexagon. So when we look at like this, can you see this? Now when we look at the extended lines, we can see that the area which is outside this triangle is equal to the area, this area and this area. These are equal. So area that is missing the triangle and area that is inside the triangle, both are equal. So basically we can say that this curve here like this and when we have drawn this line, so this area is equal to this area. So area of this would be exactly similar to the area inside the line, right? So we can assume this curved figure as a triangle. Now, when we assume it as a triangle, we know that these are six exactly similar triangles and this would be a equilateral triangle because it is of a regular hexagon. Now we have given diameter of this circle as 12 centimeter. So radius would be exactly half that is six centimeter and this radius is the side of this triangle. You can see from A to B. So now it is a equilateral triangle and area for equilateral triangles is root three by four and the square of side. Now here I want to say is that please remember the formula for a equilateral triangle area because this is a one of the favorite topics for you seed and seed to give you the area of a equilateral triangle. So they, they will ask you questions on this and it will be really beneficial. Now when we put the sides here, three by four and the uh, side is six. So this is the area of one of the triangles. Now because here what we have to find is area of only this one triangle. So we will keep it like this. But if they wanted you to find out this area of whole of this, then what we would have done, we would have simply multiplied this by six. So now let us calculate this. 6 into 6 is 36, we will divide it by 9, so it would be 9 and root 3 is 1.432. So 14 9s are 126, so it would be near about 12.7. So that would be the answer for this area. Let us move to the next question. So in this question, they want us to find out this length, which is this red line starting from L and up to this point P. So this whole path we have to find and we can see that this whole path can be traced through the parameter of the a circle. And what is the parameter of the circle? It is 2 pi r. But here see when we look at this curve from M to N, this curve, we can see it is exactly semicircle. So it would be very easy. Then from N to O, now this is a little lesser than semicircle. You can see semicircle would be somewhere here. And similarly, this O to P semicircle is up to this point and this is the extra. So this is what we have to find these extra things. If I put it as A and this one as B. So basically A, O and O, B is what we have to find. So how we can do this? We can either calculate it separately like we can calculate this MN first, then NO separately, then OP separately, right? So for that, we have to find the angle posed by this because then only we'll be able to trace the line. So this is 90 here and let's find out this, consider it as theta. So now see this OA and OB, if I put it like this here, these are radius so it this ab would be equals to twice of radius and this if i consider it as d this ad line which is the perpendicular here is equal to radius so if i put sin theta here it would be ad divided by ab 
perpendicular upon hypotenuse, right? So sin theta would be equals to what is AD if we take it R and AB is 2R. So it is 1 by 2 and the, sin theta 1 by 2 is theta is 30 degree because sin 30 is 1 by 2. So now this angle is 30. So this would be 60, right? And similarly, this angle will also be 60 because it is also 90 here. So if I take this as a small a, small b, so a small a is 30, a small b would be 60. And similarly, at this point, we have 60. So if I try to draw it now like this, so this is also 60 and this is also 60, right? Now for 60 degrees, we can easily find how 60, what is the total angle in a circle by 360 into 2 pi r. This is how we find out. So see, this question now is possible. We can calculate m n. It would be 2 pi r divided by 2. So that would be pi r. Then we can find out n o. Now what, how much would be n o? 90 is this and 60 is this. So it would be 150 divided by 360 into 2 pi r. Then similarly, we can find out OP. OP would be this much that is 60 and then this is 180 complete. So it would be 240. So this is how we can find out or what we can do. We can calculate all the angles in one time and do it. So how we can calculate? See, this is a semicircle. So it would be 180 degrees of this from M to N. Then NO, it is 90 and it is 60. That is 150. Then from OP, so this was 60 and this is 180. So this is 140, 240. If we add this, we will get 330 and 240. That is 570 total divided by 360 because 360 kahi 2 pi r hota hai. So now let us put the values 570 divided by 360 pi given is 22 by 7 and radius is will be half of 42 that is 21. So we can divide it by 3 and this 0 will cancel this 0. This will divide it by 18. Then let us further divide it. This 3 will divide it by 6. Then let us do further. This would be 3, this would be 11 and this would be 19. So by this method, we can get it 19 into 11, that is 209 centimeters. I hope this is clear. So in this method, you can directly use all the angles together or you can also try to find out separately as I told you. So this 209 is for the whole curved. Now look at it here. Here R, M and L, R are also there, right? So 209 for the curved, then R, M would be 1 radius that is 21 and then LR also would be 1 radius. So it would be 42 and 251. So 251 centimeter would be the whole path. I hope this is clear. So instead of calculating it separately, you can calculate it in one go. That would save, save a lot of time. I hope that is clear. Let us move to the next question. This was the question in seed 2021 and there are various methods to do this question. You will see some people doing it like they put a line like this and then try to break it like further. This would be one, this would be two. And similarly, they break it like this. And this whole thing is equals to this whole shaded portion. And then further divide it like this, three, four. And then they break it into many figures to look exactly like that. That way also this question can be solved, which you can find in many videos. But let us try to visually see what is the best method that we can use. So if I try to put a line here and then try to put it like this, will, will it not become a cube? Look at this now. So this is now exactly a cube. So how many faces can you see in this? This is phase one of cube. This complete is phase two of cube and this complete is phase three of cube. Now when we, we have total three faces, that means total area is three. So area of this complete hexagon is three. Now let us see how many can be the shaded portions. So if we look at this face, this, this face, this is half shaded, half empty. So shaded portion is half. Then when we look at 
this bottom face again half shaded half empty so total shaded is 1 and to total faces are 3 so it would be total faces 3 shaded faces 1 so 3 would be the answer so see this question becomes really simple if you can visualize this thing if you can visualize this as a cube it is really very simple you can you don't have to adjust anything you don't have to imagine anything else you just can directly see that shaded portions are two half portions of full faces so that is how simply you can do it so i hope this will help you in solving many other questions try to visualize the question take some time to sit with the question and once you visualize it it will become very easy your time will be saved your calculations will be saved and i hope you will clear the exam with more such approaches so Practice it more and we'll come up more such videos. Thank you and have a nice day.